the application. So today, uh, I will talk first how to design and prepare nanostructured electrocatalyst for the direct dimensional fuel cells. And the second is nanostructured electrode materials for lithium ion battery. And the third part is how to use STM to see the electrochemical process at the electrode and the solution interface. So first is nanostructure electrode for fuel cell. OK. First is a principle I have already introduced. As I said, in this field, the main problem is reduce the cost of the electrode uh, materials because the most powerful and the most efficient electrode material for fuel cell is the platinum. Yeah. Because the platinum is very expensive, so people try to make different materials and also try to make a different alloy containing platinum. Okay. Uh, in this research, first we think how to get a very high surface of platinum alloys and the platinum uh, nanosphere. So we try to develop a platinum hollow nanosphere. In this case, the surface of a platinum nanoparticle can be used in outside and inside. Here is a route how to uh, prepare this nanostructured nano structure. First, uh, we prepared a lot of cobalt, cobalt nanoparticle. And then put this cobalt nanoparticle in this solution uh, containing platinum. In this case, because the uh, electrode potential of the platinum reduction is very high, then cobalt uh, nanoparticle. So this cobalt nanoparticle will be gradually, re, uh, will gradually dissolved, and uh, the platinum will be reduced to platinum nanoparticle. And the nanoparticle will go around the core of the cobalt nanoparticle. And at the last, we get this structure. This is just the image consideration. And uh, here is the result. You see, here is the TM image. From this STM image, you can see this is a real hollow nanosphere. You can see here is a solid wall. Here is the center part. And then, by using this one, we measure the electrochemical uh, property. Here is a cyclic voltammogram. From this cyclic voltammogram, you can see here, this, this, this curve is from this uh, hollow nanosphere. Here is a nanoparticle. So the oxidation current is very really higher than this uh, solid nanoparticle. That means, in this case, this hollow nanosphere have a larger surface area, resulting in a very high oxidation current. So you see, this is a very simple method, and the idea, I think, is very important. And after get this nanoparticle, I think we can put this nanosphere on graphene surface. Uh, this is an uh, illustration, just uh, like, uh, you see, very beautiful. Uh, just a uh, lot of nanosphere uh, hanging on the graphene surface. In this case, maybe we can get uh, different and uh, very high electrochemical property for this composite system. OK. Here is the result. First, we also we use the uh, graphene. And in situ, we synthesize a lot of cobalt uh, nanoparticle. By using this cobalt nanoparticle as a core, we put the solution uh, into this system uh, containing platinum. And then the platinum uh, iron will be reduced into platinum atom. So form this 
the hollow sphere. But however, this process is an in situ process. So all of the platinum nanosphere will deposit on graphene surface. Uh, graphene surface. Here's an experimental result. You can see on the surface a lot of nanosphere on the graphene surface. And here's a high resolution TM image. You can see here's a single nanosphere, single nanosphere. Here's a large area. And uh, on the surface, you can find uh, the spacing uh, distance is uh, similar to platinum well one. Uh, platinum well one spacing. So that means, by this case, we can get a uh, well uh, crystallized platinum well one surface on graphene surface. And also, you can see uh, that's just uh, demonstrate this nanosphere on graphene surface, G band and D band, uh, this lama result. And also, we measure the national oxidation. Uh, reaction. You can see this new composite material has a very uh, high performance for this uh, oxidation reaction. That means this composite materials is a very good materials. The details about the mechanism now is still in progress. Okay, we also study the oxygen uh, reduction reaction. No. Every uh, result solving this composite material is the best materials. And uh, we also developed uh, some alloy by using like uh, platinum zinc uh, uh, nanotuber and also some like uh, cobalt, nickel, and uh, copper. And we found that all of this uh, alloy have a, a better uh, electrochemical performance compared with uh, like uh, uh, tin and uh, copper and uh, some other materials. You see, here is uh, the tin and uh, platinum. Here is a nanotuber and a single nanotuber like this one. And uh, here, the electrochemical property. That means this platinum and uh, tin nanotuber has a very good uh, electrochemical performance. But uh, however, in this case, the cost of the electrode material is decreased because containing uh, tin atom. And also another uh, advantage of this composite material is uh, uh, anti-toxin. Uh, uh, usually the surface of platinum surface, if some, some carbon oxide is solved on the surface, the, effective, the efficiency of platinum atom will be decreased uh, very much. But in this case, the surface has a very good performance, even some carbon oxide in the solution. Okay. This is the first